Excuse me. Do you know where Ray Mullen used to live? Uh, yeah. Big house at the end of the main street. Thank you. Uh, you know he's dead, don't you? Yes. I know. Is it your back? <sighs> what are you, a doctor? Sorry I spoke. I've got an afternoon of paperwork ahead of me. I'm not in the best of moods. Whatever. I thought Paddy was meeting you. So did I. So where's Paddy? <laughs> he can't do lunch. He's got an emergency on. Mrs. Taylor's Labrador ate some rat poison. Oh, does he need a hand? Well, from you? Yes, from me. She's been like this all morning. Oh, they're not on a bit thick, is she? Sorry? No, nothing. Well, it's lucky you have a cesarean, though, if this is how you cope with a bit of back pain. <sighs> Hey, it could be labour for all we know. It's not labour. It could be, though, couldn't it? Do you reckon? Seriously, you're not in labour, are you? I don't know. Well, it was good to see you. Just wanted to know how you were getting on. I'm all right. I can see that. Your dad would be proud of you. Big deal. We've still got no money. We're still behind on rent. Don't worry about that for now. Mr Tate won't be putting any undue pressure on you. We've still got Tate to deal with. Nothing's changed. Well, your dad's going to be OK. He'll be home soon. Yeah. That'll make all the difference. Anyway. That were awkward. Hiya. Chris in? He's got a meeting. Oh, I was hoping to run something by him. Oh, well, run it by me, then. Uh, I need tomorrow off. What for? Mullen's funeral. You are? Not a problem, is it? Bit weird. You of all people pretending you're sad he's dead. Oh, I'm just doing it for Louise. She's going to need someone to lean on. Oh, never mind lean on you. You're hoping she's going to fall into your arms, aren't you? Don't start. I'm warning you. Oh, you're warning me? That's actually got me pretty worried. Because you and Louise between you, pretty dangerous, aren't you? Oh, she's going to have a difficult day. She just needs a friend, then. Oh, Terry, word of advice. Get over her. You're just setting yourself up for more grief. So do I get the day off, or what? Fine. Be sure to give Ray my love, won't you? <sighs> this isn't supposed to happen yet. You know what? I don't think your baby's read your appointments diary. You just relax. Oh, will you two shut up? <sighs> OK. I think I am having contractions. Are you sure? Now, which of you two's going to take me to the hospital? Oh, come on! What's going on in here? You're taking Zoe into hospital now. What? You heard. That... No, I can't. Don't be stupid. It's an emergency. Uh, listen, I'll phone the hospital. You call Chris and Charity. Right, OK. Move it. Oh. I'm looking for Louise Appleton. I understand she works here. Yeah, I'm Louise. David Mullen. Ray's brother. I didn't know he had a brother. He had four. I'm Diane. I'm very sorry about Ray. We all are. He was a lovely bloke. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Can I get you a drink? A small whiskey. Ray's drink. Coming up. Are you, um... You're not about to have it, are you? You're worried about your car, are you? No, I'm worried about you. What are we going to do when we get there? Straight to the theatre for the caesarean, I hope. But we are going to make it, aren't we? Oh, if you stop talking, get a move on. I can't believe your dad. Thanks, that really helps, Andy. Has he not spoke to you about what happened yet? No. But well, you're going to have to speak to him soon. I know, Andy. Look, I'm sorry about what he did. It wasn't your fault. I know it isn't. I can't say anything right, can I? Not so far, no. Well, why don't we just not talk about him? Well, that's very grown up. Well, all right, then. We'll talk about him. I hate him. What about you? Oh, get lost. Don't mind if I join you? Oh, 
Come on, Jack. I'm on your side. I don't want any teats on my side. Chris made a mistake. He knows he did. A man nearly died. Well, it shouldn't have happened. He nearly died. Chris drove him to suicide. And if you come back, you can prevent anything like that from happening again. Oh, is that right? And how am I going to do that? Look, Chris needs someone like you working for him to tell him how far he can go. I'm not going to be Chris Tate's enforcer. Well, you can handle him. Handle him? What's that supposed to mean? Look, there's ways of getting what you want out of Chris. You already know that. The fact is, you never lie down and roll over for him, do you? And he respects you for that. Well, aren't I lucky? Well, tell me what you want me to do. Do you want some jerk like Brian to get the job? No. Because that's what's going to happen. So it can either be you standing up for the tenant farmers or some tame Rottweiler going around terrorising everyone, just doing whatever Chris tells them. Which do you think would be better? Think about it. So are the rest of the family here too? We weren't close to Ray. Oh, I see. Well, I don't see, but it's none of my business. Families, hey? He was close to you. Yes, he was. So you're just here for the funeral then? That's right. Where are you staying? I hadn't thought about it. What about Ray's house? If you didn't mind. Well, I'm not staying there at the moment. Too many memories. Louise is staying here. Why don't you stay? Too, there's a spare room. I'm sure you two have a lot to talk about. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Sorry with you. Yeah, of course. Dad? We need to have a talk about what's happened. I don't know what to say to you. I can't believe I defended you to one day. You defended me? Well, I wish I hadn't now. That man might have died, Dad. I took on the job, I tried to do it properly, and that's all. And I did it for you. You lost Jackie's job and made that guy try to kill himself. I did not make him try to kill himself. He got himself into a situation he couldn't cope with. Let's put it behind us. We should be thinking about the future. What do you mean? I mean, I've had enough of Jack Sugden, Chris Tate and the rest of our life in this godforsaken little village. And? And I've decided to take that job offer I told you about in Newcastle. You're going to leave? No, we're going to leave. You're coming with me. Over here. Hi. All right, okay. Mr Tate. Hi. Just take uh, deep breaths. Oh, whatever is so stupid. That's right, isn't it? Deep breaths. We'll have you inside in no time. You hear that? You're going to be fine. Just relax. This way. She's got to go to school in a minute. I know I did. I'm sorry. Have you had a busy morning? Uh, no, nothing too terrible. Oh, somebody brought in a Labrador that had eaten rat poison. <gasps> oh, Chloe. Chloe's got some news for you. What? Have you told him? What? So he's gone into labour. What? Scott's taken us to the hospital. Well, oh, um, well, when did this happen? How is she? Well, it happened this morning, but no, I don't know how she is. Because as Zoe pointed out, I'm not a doctor. So, can we go and see Zoe's baby? You know, before she gives it away. Debbie, um, you just give us a minute. Thank you. You're going to be working longer hours now. I know, but we knew I would be. But what about spending time with Debbie? Yeah, what about spending time with me? Well, I'm going to be spending more time with you, of course I am. Mm, what are we going to do then? Can we go somewhere at the weekend? Yeah, uh, um, well, I don't, I don't know. I just know that I want to spend more time with you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to spend more time with you, definitely. It's just a matter of balancing things and working things out. Can we go and see a film? Yes, we can. And have a Scrabble tournament. Sounds good to me. Don't it? Yeah, sounds great. So, when are we going to go and see Zoe and the baby? Debbie, can we, we'll just wait till we hear from them first, eh? It's always going to be all right. I know she is. I'm just worried, that's all. It's all I'm so quickly. I, she won't be, be fine? Of course she will. She's having a baby. It's not as if she's been eating rat poison.
What's happening? Where is she? Um, she's fine. The um, midwife has taken her away. What do you mean, she's fine? Has she had the baby? I haven't heard anything. All I know is that she was in labour. Tell you what, you stay here. I'll, I'll go and see what's going on. Be quick. Right, well, I'm off. No, you're not. You sit down and tell me exactly what's happened. You hadn't heard about me, then? First we heard of you it was when we saw the will. There's a will? The solicitor contacted me. I'm an executor. I see. Do you have any idea what Ray might have left you? No. No, of course not. We'd have to talk about this now. He's left you the house. Well, I wasn't expecting anything. And do you know what he left his dad and his brothers? Nothing. I'm sorry. It's a nice trick, isn't it? Leave me to deal with the lawyers and the admin. And make sure his family get nothing. Well, he could be selfish. Still, you've come out of it all right, haven't you? Oh, I tracked you down at last. How are you? Is everything all right? I'm fine. And? And I was suffering from severe backache. What do you mean? I wasn't in labour. Oh, you weren't? Are you still in pain? No. And now I'm suffering from severe embarrassment, but otherwise fit as a fiddle. Well, good. <sighs> I should have gone to some antenatal classes. Yeah, because you could have met all those um, young mums. I mean, think of all the coffee mornings you've missed out on, eh? I'm glad you're here. Not a problem. No, I mean it. I know you don't want to talk about this, but... The fact that you've been through it makes a difference. Well, you've got all your friends and family to support you. And we're not going anywhere. Well, I might as well go then. Do what you like. Can I see a doctor, please? They're busy at the moment, sir. You're still here. You know, a bit of gratitude might be nice. I did drive her here. Oh, you are such a hero. You can see Zoe now. Hey, I'm the brother. How is she? Bye, then. Look, I'm here. See, I'm on time. Or am I? Yes, you're on time. Debbie's not back from school. She's late. I know she's late. All right, well, don't panic. Don't tell me not to panic, because that doesn't help. Right, sorry. I'm sorry. Well, it's natural for a girl her age to be unreliable. I don't care what's natural. I just want to know where she is. Right, I'll go and have a look for her. Where? W what? Where, where, um... Oh, I don't know. Well, where would she be? I, see, these are the sorts of things that we should know what she does and where she goes. I'll go and find Katie and Donna. She might be with them, or they might know something. I I'll ring the cafe. I'll see if she's there. Right. Oh! Leave it! Well, it might be her. Hello? Lisa, Lisa, listen, can I, can I phone you back in a minute? Yeah. No, no, she didn't say. All right, I'll be up in a bit. All right, bye-bye. She's up at the Dingles. What was she doing there? Well, I've got a pretty good idea. I'll go and get her. Will you tell her I made her favourite tea? The joys of parenthood, eh? <laughs> See the way that pig looked at me? She likes you. Well, that's because I'm looking after a baby. Paddy's on his way over. You know, you should really have told him where you were, love. Well, I meant to, but I was looking at the pigs and chickens and talking to Sam. I forgot. Oh. I love being here. <laughs> well, you're easily pleased, aren't you? I've got my favourite chicken here. Have a look. Sam's called her Toby. Why? Because Sam's a div, that's why. These chickens were living in solitary confinement till they came here. Did you liberate them? Of course he didn't. I did. Sam couldn't liberate a bag of chips from a chippy. Haven't you ever got anything nice to say? Kane don't do nice, love. My name's Kane and I don't do nice. <laughs> You're sad you are. And this from a kid whose idea of a good time means looking at pigs and chickens. <laughs> Hello. 
Chris, before you say... The nurse filled me in. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Zoe. Of course it isn't. Back pain could be very serious. Are you taking the mickey? I believe it could be life-threatening sometimes. I've just wasted everyone's time. The only thing that's wasting time is pointless apologies. Now, shall we get you home? I thought you'd never ask. And just to make things clear, I don't care if you have a false alarm every day until you give birth. I'll still be here for you. Understood? Thank you. I'm glad you came. Can we start again? I, I keep saying the wrong thing. I don't mean to. Just forget it, Andy, OK? Look, I've got something to tell you. What? My dad's taking that job in Newcastle. Well, good. As soon as he's out of the way, we'll be fine. He wants me to go with him. You are? It's not just that he wants me to. He's totally assuming that I'm going to. <sighs> well, he's being stupid like he always is. You're not even thinking about it, are you? It's my dad, Andy, and if you can't understand that that means something to me, then who's the stupid one? Yeah, but... I just can't believe I'm here again, stuck between the two of us. You're not stuck between the two of us. You're staying with me. Listen to yourself, you're staying with me. You're as bad as he is. <sighs> Katie. I just need to be on my own, all right? Oh, hi, Paddy Love. Hiya. Uh, um, sorry about this, but I'm a little bit confused because it's half past five and Emily's got your tea on, but you're still here. Well, that's such a good time. But Emily's worried sick. Well, I just lost track of time and everyone here's so nice. Look, just take her home, will you? I want to make my tea in peace. Except for him. Hm. Sorry about this. Don't be daft, we've enjoyed having her here. Yeah, but we ought to know where she is. Well, I just came to see the pig and the chickens and Toby and... Can't you phone them and tell her what's happened? And I'll eat her tea too. Look, uh, it's really my fault as much as it's Debbie's. I mean, we got a bit carried away looking at all the animals and especially... Mm -mm. Is that the room? <laughs> yeah, it is. He's much better since you came to see him. He's feeding fine now and uh, Debbie's taking a bit of a shine to him, haven't you, love? Got a name for him too. Keen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I didn't seem rude earlier. Not at all. There's a lot of anger towards Ray and my family. That's no reason to take it out on you. Yeah, well, really, it's fine. You obviously meant a lot to him. I should say she did. They're all set to go away together to Italy. What brought that on? I don't know. We just fell in love with it, I guess. It's quite a commitment. You must have seen a side to my brother that his family didn't know. I guess so. Tell me about the Ray you knew. Actually, I'm sorry. If you don't mind, I'm just going to take a break. Yeah, you go on. It's hard for her. You really want to ruin my life, don't you? Andy! Sit down. There's no need to make a scene. You're not taking Katie away from me. Do you know what? Since we're leaving, maybe it's about time I told you what I really think of you. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what I really think about you, but I don't want to upset her. But I'll stop it, both of you. It wants seen. He started it. Oh, look, I won't have you doing this again. I can't stand it when you're being like this. Yeah, but Katie... Oh, just shut up! Look, Dad, I feel like saying I want nothing to do with either of you. But the thing is, I'm going to marry Andy, and I'm staying here, and that's the end of it. Yeah, but... No, Dad, that's the end of it. Where do you think you're going to live? Where do you think? Look, I'm going to move in with him. You can wipe that smirk off your face, cos you can forget marriage if you carry on acting like you have done today. Just a minute. We need to talk about this. No, you two need to talk. I don't want to be with either of you right now. How are you feeling now? My back's fine. And the embarrassment? Wearing off, slowly. Must have been quite a shock. Oh, I wish we'd been there. Well, you got there, that's the main thing. Still, I know what it's like being on your own. I've done it. I'd have given anything to have someone there with me. I'm sure. We don't have to talk about it. I don't mind. Must have brought it all back a bit today. Yeah, it did. You know, my dad drove me to the hospital. He didn't hang round. Straight off to the pub. So you were all alone? 
Well, the closest thing I had to support was a midwife. And at 13, she thought I was a stupid tart for getting pregnant in the first place. 13? I just got some new trainers. I had to take them off. I was sure they were going to get nicked. Charity. Oh, I soon forgot about them when the pain kicked in. I was screaming. I was so terrified. I had no idea it was going to be that bad. No one told me. So I spent the whole labour hating the baby, hating the baby's dad, not knowing if I was even going to survive. And what about the dad? Where was he? Oh, he wasn't interested. Couldn't care less. Oh, did you ever see him again? I see him a lot. Oh. I mean, he doesn't know that he's the father. And he's never going to know. Well, who is it? I don't understand. What's there to understand? I thought we were in love with him. That's how stupid I was. Cain got you pregnant? He got me pregnant and then my dad took me away to have the baby and give it up. I told Cain I'd run off with someone. And Cain believed him? You know, I waited for him to come and find me to get in touch, do anything to show that he still knew I existed. Never lifted a finger. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm not. When he didn't come and find me, I decided not to waste my life pining for him. Decided I was well shut of him and everything he has done since then has proved it. I've had a lucky escape. You can't... You can't just dismiss it. Well, it was a long time ago. It was a different life. Yes, but... No buts. Look, so are you and me. We've had a pretty horrible time in the past, haven't we? Well, once this baby's been born, we can put it all behind us. You'll move on and your life will be your own again. He said. Well, I did it. So can you.